the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about a project or two projects actually in this which fit into a specific narrative which will be zk rollups okay guys i believe zk rollups are going to do well during this bull market um specifically because a lot of people are talking about them and it's been gearing up for a while okay um but um also there's actually an airdrop or two which will be um landing in this narrative pretty soon so you have the starknet airdrop um, and you have the ZK Sync error airdrop. Okay, guys. So, you know, the, the whole ZK narrative does have potential to pump. Anything with ZK in its name will probably fit into that narrative. Or people will look at it as if it is in that narrative at the end of the day. Okay, guys. So, the whole ZK EVM narrative is bullish, in my opinion. It's not financial advice. <clears throat> but um, lots of potential for, you know, at least short-term games. Uh, short-term gains and as well as long-term gains considering the position where we are at in this bull market okay guys so we're going to talk about the first one which is it literally launched just yesterday so it's a very early opportunity sitting at 4.7 million in market cap and that is zk ml okay guys zk ml so again this launch just yesterday is almost at a thousand holders the tokenomics look very good at 100 million circulating, 100 million total supply. All right, guys, 3 million in volume. Okay, so at a sub 10 million market cap, I think this one has potential. If the team can deliver, it does what it says on the tin. Okay, guys, um, going to the website, it does look like they do have a working product. Um, you know, people might be hesitant to try this as it being a new technology. Um, or, well, you know, I, I think it's a new technology, right? But um, it's anonymous and effortless crypto transfers on any EVM network. Okay, guys, the main website. You can check out the main website in your own time. It fits into the privacy narrative as well. Um, and cross interoperability, security. Okay, guys. And how is it private? Okay, so basically what you can do is you can transfer um, Ethereum between, uh, you know, between these uh, ZK ML IDs, right? Uh, and basically uh, you generate you can generate ids right here on the website and then what you do is you load a key save that key and that enables you to transact or withdraw funds from that address so let's say you wanted to do a private transaction between you and you know another peer okay peer to peer and you don't want that to be traced or tracked or whatever okay many people have their reasons for doing that sort of stuff uh, but basically you can generate these zk ml ids um, you need to make sure that you do load and save a key for that ID so that you can make the withdrawals from it. Okay, guys, and you're only going to share the address. You will never show, share your key. Think of it like a private key for that address. Okay, you could do that all here from the website. Okay, guys, so that is basically what this is doing, right? Uh, they have a problem statement. Obviously, they they believe they've got the solution for this problem. Okay, guys, I'm not going to read the whole thing. But um, obviously, it just comes into, you know, security measures and, you know, privacy, um, the lack of interoperability between different chains and so on. OK, guys, so their solution is through their innovative features, robust privacy protocols and commitment to cross chain interoperability. ZKML offers users unparalleled levels of confidentiality, trust and control over their digital assets and personal data. As the project continues to evolve and mature, ZKML remains steadfast in its mission to empower users with the tools and capabilities needed to navigate complexities of the digital world securely and privately. Okay, so this is a community driven project and um, it seems good from where I'm standing. There's quite a few people um, talking about it on uh, crypto Twitter, which is basically what something like this needs to catch on. Okay, guys, uh, because ultimately, um you know it's speculation okay it's speculation and um you know if someone else is bullish on it that makes other people bullish on it you're going to speculate and I, I think you know what at a low market cap maybe i should buy some of this and you know if it fits into that narrative of zk roll-ups and all that sort of stuff maybe it can give us a pump okay guys so i'm not sure about the long-term potential of it ultimately right but um at, at least in the short term I see this getting some upside considering it's had a very good launch. It's holding up well considering it's up 86 
thousand uh, percent <laughs> uh, from the launch right it's holding up pretty well and it's getting some consolidation so i see this potentially going up in the short term like i said and giving us some gains potentially and um, again with the whole zk narrative airdrops and all that sort of stuff about to land um you know this could just be you know just riding that train um for some upside uh, but you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments okay guys the next one that i'm going to talk about is audi zk okay so audi zk is one that i've spoken about re uh, well not recently but you know a short while ago on the channel still holding this token actually i'm staking this token and um you know this one um they've uh, you might see that the website has been updated they've been continuously developing um i see a lot of potential for this project okay this is one that i compared to multibit because this one fits into the brc20 narrative but also it has zk in the name so it fits into that zk narrative all right guys and this one it's not just launched but uh, it did launch it did pump okay so there's going to be people that did some profit taken uh taking um right now it's sitting at the lows okay sitting at the lows is putting a new low uh or or a bottom should i say and there's potential for upside in this project again because of their development right um this is a serious team multibit went to 300 million in a very short space of time and now we see it pulling and pulling back to about 180 150 million or something like that right all these ek hasn't quite done that all right guys i think it went to about 8 million or 10 million market cap um i'm not sure but um at its all-time highs all-time high from here is approximately 5x okay so um all these ek they recently just released a preview of their audi zk wallet okay um say hello to the audi zk wallet the new brc20 wallet is on the way we're currently in testing phase we're finding the user experience and gearing up for the ozk uh, beta release okay so you can see their wallet here uh, the branding looks really good in my opinion this not only fits into the zk narrative once again but it fits into that brc20 narrative so if you want the best of both worlds um this one could be a good one of getting partnerships with viridis network for example that's another one that i've talked about on the channel a bullish project in the whole carbon credits narrative um so you know these guys are uh, and that is a real legit project of course so for me this just legitimizes or the zk um at the beginning wasn't quite sure you know multibit compare uh coming out after multibit you know many people might look at it like it's just a copycat but all these ek are definitely not just a copycat um they actually had a usp of uh being able to use the bridge uh on because all these ek is a bridge basically right but you could use the bridge on telegram and you can also bridge on their website but at the beginning you can only bridge on telegram so you can bridge through their website as well and um, so that's opened a bunch of partnerships up to them. They've got a partnership with Pal AI as well, another bullish project that I think is going to do extremely well in this bull run. And they have the whole revenue share model. So from staking, you don't actually earn the OZK token through staking, you get paid out in Ethereum. So when you stake, um, they've got a very uh, good staking model, okay? Uh, obviously, it's a revenue share model, all right, guys? So there's different tiers in that. You can look up that in your own time. But all these EK, in my opinion, it looks good. They're still building. They're doing their thing. And it's only a matter of time before we see significant upside. This one's sitting at a very low market cap of 1.9 million. Okay, guys. With 3,000 holders. Uh, the tokenomics, again, are very good, in my opinion. 100% of the supply is circulating. Okay, guys. So, another token with great tokenomics. Uh, this one has a 5% tax. All right, guys. And... Um, Actually, I think a ZK, ZKML also has a tax, which I didn't mention. Okay, 5% taxes. So this is pretty nor uh, pretty ordinary, pretty normal across the board. People are saying, yo, what's, what's up with these taxes? Why is the tax so high? You know, people said the same thing about OPSEC, right? OPSEC has a 5% tax. Okay, um, similar tokenomics at 100 million, um, uh, fully circulating. Okay. And um, this is what OPSEC is doing right now, okay? We talked about OPSEC way over here, okay, guys? Still holding this token, and it's pumping. It's going crazy. You know, if you would have gotten to OPSEC around the time which I talked about it, you would be up almost a 10x from that video. So, um, you know, um, who cares about a 5% tax when you're up 10x, okay, guys? 
and that's the way I see. Okay, so shout out to Optic. Anyway, if you haven't seen my video on Optic, not sure what's going on with my uh, um, chart at the moment. But if you haven't seen my video on Optic or my videos on Optic, because I've covered it a number of times, right? Go and check that out. Parabolic uh, upturn in this um, huge gains. Very happy with that call, and I see the same potential happening with. Um, something like this, it's not in the same thing. Obviously, OPSEC is deep in um, AI, uh, decentralized cloud infrastructure, uh, and, and all that sort of stuff, right? But um, yeah, I mean, again, we're looking at narratives, okay, guys? So deep in is a narrative. Uh, ZK Rollups is a narrative. So um, that's really all I've got for you in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, bullish on these projects. So yeah, let me know, uh, you know, whether they're whether you think they're good picks or whatever. Definitely, uh, time will tell, and we shall see in the next coming days and weeks whether they're good calls or not. Okay, guys. But that's really all I've got for you in this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube alg algorithm. And I'll see you in the very next video.